I noticed now that Netflix is showing what's in their top 10 for Canada. It's in its seventh. I started watching it the day after it was released and that's how little people care about this. I honestly think they're not gonna make a third season. Ah, uh, I called it. Now, no, this is not me celebrating in the loss of work for others. It's just me celebrating being right. If you guys haven't seen the article yet, this was released by Deadline just yesterday. Season two of Altered Carbon is going to be the last season. They have canceled plans to make a third season and this is not related to COVID. This is actually based on what they saw from the numbers. Apparently they had actually made this decision back in April, which doesn't surprise me but they're making this public now. Season two of Altered Carbon, some people thought had a much better concise narrative and technically speaking, yes, it actually did have a much more forward moving narrative. Whereas the first season was kind of a combination of a neo-noir detective novel where the main overall narrative kind of got more of the push at the end of the season, but it was still kind of a mix match of different stories. But then the second season was a much more focused narrative about Takeshi Kovacs finding Falconer. And while some of it was okay, despite the fact that this was a smaller season, had less episodes than the first one did, the narrative felt way more dragged out. But I think the red flags really showed for me is when I started the first episode and they showed a recap of what had previously happened on Altered Carbon and not a single bit of the entire suicide slash murder mystery that was the main focus of like almost 70% of the first season was not mentioned at all. However, there was characters, there was moments, there were sections in that story that were then relied upon in the second season for callbacks, but they wouldn't do recaps about it. So some of us were kind of lost if we hadn't immediately rewatched the first season before season two, and honestly, I couldn't do it as much as I liked episodes from Altered Carbon Season 1. It is a bit of a mess. However, it is far more entertaining than the second season was. So in the end, that's all for the show. It's unfortunate because this was a very, very big production out here in Vancouver. At least the first season was. The second season, not so much from what I heard. And they even just did a set sale apparently like two weeks ago. So that's unfortunate because it was a cool concept. It lost its way in the second season. I was kind of hoping maybe in the third that they would have gotten it if it happened at all, but clearly it's not. Anyways guys, that's all the news I have for you about it. If you want to read the article, it's, there's a link to it in the description below. Otherwise, stay safe out there and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.